So I worked a sales job and I feel like I got special treatment because I was a woman and most of the guys would agree. People were more willing to help you when you're a young woman. I've heard this from almost every single woman working in entertainment and working in any industry peripheral to this, that if you're a moderately attractive woman working, yeah, like you're working, you might be succeeding, but you never know if you're actually succeeding based on the merits of your work or if it's because somebody wants to fuck you. And when somebody tries to fuck you, if you shut them down, you're f because whoever's above you hates you now and they're never going to promote you or work with you anymore and then you slowly basically get ghosted out of whatever job you're working. Or you go to HR and the dude gets fired and then you get a settlement. That, it, that just doesn't happen most of the time. PUA, Red Pill guys live in this delusional world where like every guy is getting false claims, every creepy boss or pervert is getting fired. No, I don't every, that. Yeah, this happens like 1.0001% of the time. Like it's very, very rare that somebody actually gets caught or called out on this. Because usually actually, when these guys are propositioning, you, you, you don't even, they're not really even being 100% forward with it, right? So you're not going to get them on anything. Actually, 8% of the U.S. population claims they've been falsely accused. That's, okay, mm -hmm. but with that poll, was that poll falsely accused to the police? Mm -hmm. Or was that poll like my friend told another friend that somebody mm -hmm. like me? It was probably the latter. It was absolutely the latter. Mm -hmm. Because 8% of false allegations mm -hmm. to the police, everybody would be talking about it. I know that's not true. Mm -hmm.